Hello. Hey, Avery. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Is this it? Is it? Are we? Is it happening? Are we live? <laughs> we are live. My my chat can see you now. They're saying Sorry, they're that. saying, "Hey, Bobby." <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm all right. Are you excited to play some Jackbox? Hell yeah. Yeah? You've never played Jackbox before, though. Actually, Avery, I have played a little Jackbox <gasps> in my day. Really? What games have you played? Um, a Quiplash. Quiplash okay, a that's a good one. Of course, the, uh, the core trivia game with the funny host um, is good. There's another, like, um, what is it called? I can't remember what the name of it is, but where you invent something. Fantastic. Oh, I know which one you're talking about, but I can't remember what it's called either. I think I played that I one kind of recently. But you've yeah, never you've never pack. played you've never played the one we're gonna play today, which is called Gespionage. I haven't. I haven't. Okay, this one's fun. I'll try to explain the best I can. I'm not good at explaining things, so bear with me. <laughs> um, but basically they'll give you like a kind of like a statistic, like they'll say like how many people Oh man, I'm trying to think of something now. I'm trying to think of one I've seen in the past. So show you a statistic, and then you have to guess if you think that uh, the population is more or less than what they've given you. I, it's hard to explain. I'll open up the game. If you, I played it for the first time like three weeks ago, and I think I got the hang of it like first game on, so it shouldn't be too hard. I also have to attempt to share the screen to you, so that you don't have to watch my my stream and hear me like two times echoing in your ear. So I'm going to open okay. this. Um, one of my mods, if you guys could change me to Jackbox, please. That would be awesome. Um, okay. I think you should be able to see it. Yeah. So if you click that. Yeah, baby. Okay, good. Okay. And then I have to make sure that you get on or any one in my stream gets on. Let me move my cat. Yeah, who is that? So everybody, if you guys are new here, this is Bobby. Bobby is the CEO of Bitstamp. Um, and he will be joining us for a little bit for some games and then some some fun little exploration on Bitstamp to show you guys what it's all about and how easy it is to make an account and invest in crypto on Bitstamp. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Please, of course. please hold your applause. <laughs> hold your applause, but thank you. I'm excited to be here. No, we're honored to have you here. Act naturally and report to observation. Okay, we have two more spots left, guys. If you guys want to join um, jackbox.tv, put your... Who the hell is your name? Who is this? <laughs> All right, we'll roll with it. Whoever that is. Okay, in turn, let me just set up your camera monitoring system. You're silly. Oh, nice. Okay, so Sarah is in here. Water park. Awesome. Oh, no, we'll start no, the no, game no. in like 30 These seconds. Cameras attached to bidets. You've got bidets for days. <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, have fun with the crapper cams. The best part about Jackbox is the banter. <laughs> yeah. In the background. Yeah, uh, there's this one where you can like rap on it, and the the narrators on that the one robots. are really good. Yeah. Have you done the robot one? Hell yeah. Oh, that one's so good. I wanted to do the murder trivia party. If you got, if you've played that oh, one before, that, one. that one's so yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. That one's so fun. I love the narrator on that one. Okay, we'll just we'll just uh, start now. Please report to the front desk to let us know your. All right, here we go. How was your time in Europe, by the way? We had to uh, extend our we are constantly watching everything. our stream together because you're in Europe. Joke, Europe, I'm a little jealous. Because throwing it away seemed you like know, it was so um, it, it was so awesome. Use, I was in Switzerland, a place called Saint Saint yes, Moritz Vietnam. in the Alps, and um, talking with a with a bunch of executives and, and uh, crypto people. Oh, cool. Um, First up. And uh, it was it was really really cool and just breathtakingly beautiful. I got to yeah, got to ski. Oh, you skied there too? 
Yes, oh, that's cool. Dark that's awesome. I've always wanted to go to Switzerland. Never made Make it, though. You but... gotta put it on your list. I do. It's yeah. definitely there. It's definitely there. So, in this game, what percentage of people prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate? And then they're gonna give you, like, a percentage that you think um, is the right one. So, this guy thinks that 24% of people prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate. And then we're gonna choose if we think his answer is right or if it's more or less all right right okay Ooh. Mm. I hear you. running out of time so when you go to switzerland to talk to like crypto higher. people are they okay, also the right from answer. bitstamp or are they just from like other uh, yeah, so this was a. Um, I don't know why this is. Who said hi? Nice job. Um, I've got some points for this you. was a conference, so it was uh, it was two hundred executives ah, that were um, you know, in, in financial services companies, crypto companies, or, or venture capital okay, investors. Um, all kind of trying oh, to figure out what's coming all next right, and in. talk about the possibilities in the space. So. Um, you know, really, really small group, relatively speaking. It wasn't like a giant conference. Right. Um, what percentage of people try and to a lot of really, really great conversations. Oh, that's so exciting. Instead of rolling the bottle or tapping it. What percentage of people try to get ketchup out of the glass bottles using the vigorous shaking method instead of rolling the bottle? Okay. Interesting question. All right. What do you think? Wait. said lower and the correct answer is 38 <gasps> percent all right you gotta be within 30 percent of the oh you were way i said higher Let's see wow yeah right. here's some points well avery do you use condiments much i'm i'm a little bit of a condiments user more so recently <laughs> than in the past i've definitely expanded oh your turn our database has some juicy data for okay cool What percentage of men have their hair cut at establishments that display barber's poles? Oh, that's a good question. Ooh. 81%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Okay. That's pretty aggressive. I'm thinking think lower a little bit. <laughs> I'm feeling like a lot of men get their haircuts at like salons. More than we think. Not in Mayberry. What do you Let's think? See. Higher or lower? I have zero points. That is so embarrassing. It's lower. Now let's get to the right answer. Twenty-four oh, percent. Wow. <gasps> Only twenty-four percent. Clearly, super wow. doesn't have barber points. All right, you killed it. Who got it right? Um. So, Ooh, Avery, since this is the first time we've met, yeah. How how did you get into streaming? How did you find yourself here? Well, I grew up with two older brothers, so I've always gamed a little bit when they would let me use the controller. Um, and then uh, my ex actually did this for a living, and he told me that I have a good personality for it and that I should give it a try. So he helped me, you know, set everything up and helped me get a PC where I was able to start my own stream. And... Uh, I was working two jobs and then streaming just for fun for like two hours a night. Eventually, I was able to quit one job and stream a little bit more. And then eventually, I was able to quit both my jobs and stream full time. And that's what I've been doing since 2018. Wow. Yeah. So it's been fun. Uh, I definitely got lucky and I enjoy what I do, especially when I get to do cool things like talk to you and have a fun little <laughs> jackbox stream with you so you don't yeah um i think it all led Let's to this game right. actually oh yeah you get points. this is um, my peak no, right that's... here actually with streaming <laughs> yeah. yeah i get that a lot um no it's really that's quite impressive Let's see. thank you thank that's, you that's super cool yeah I've, I've been here for a long time been on twitch for a long time all right you got a Focus now. Okay, let me let me. What percentage of people have eaten tater tots in the past month? Oh. Mm. Oh. It 
That's like a weird question. Okay. I'm feeling not a lot of people. Okay. Higher or lower. Hmm. What? It's a, it's like, right. it's a national Ooh, treasure, Tater Tots. And I feel like they're, says... they're not that popular here. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. You get points, but barely. Okay. That's fine. So how did you get started with the crypto right. then? Because you, because Bitstamp has been around for, well, the longest out of all the exchanges. So. Okay, who's up next? I really thought you were gonna say, "How did you oh, get into tater tots?" <laughs> but um. Typey, typey. Well, yeah, how so, did you? Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, Bitstamp is actually what the longest running crypto exchange, founded in 2011, wanted. believe it or not. Yeah. So um. So we've got a lot of OG credentials in the, in the space, um, and there's a lot of good reasons why we've been around that long. What percentage of people have had their teeth percent. professionally whitened? Everyone pick, higher or lower. Wow. I'm going, all right. Um, and I personally- uh, Okay, right had answer is. Kind of interesting, crazy career. I started as an engineer. I did I'm some time as a consultant, a strategy oh, wow. consultant, and, and did mergers and acquisitions. Um, I was an entrepreneur. I founded a company um, that we built and, and sold. Um, and then I was an exec at a, a Fortune 500 uh, company called CME Group, which was a, a big exchange, kind of like bit stamp, but, they, but the, the product was traditional financial services products. And um, it was there. Hang on. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we picked three. Yeah. Um. Um. At any rate, I, I ended up uh, helping that company bits. invest in some crypto and blockchain companies, and that got me super excited about the possibilities um, related to this technology, mm -hmm. cryptocurrency, and and um, and blockchain, and and uh, had the opportunity to be a part of a company that's building it, you know, versus on the sidelines. And that's how I ended up here. Wow. You've, you've created multiple companies. That's impressive. Well, it's, I've been super fortunate and really, really lucky actually. I've had great opportunities. Yeah. And like taking a chance with crypto that early on in 2011, it must've been a little nerve wracking. Do you think, or do you think that you saw the future for crypto? Did you know 76% of people well, to be clear, I, I didn't found the company. Mm -hmm. um, some a couple of brilliant guys uh, founded it in 2011. And mm -hmm. they they really they had a vision about, um, you know, how society could benefit from this kind of mm -hmm. independence that you can get from, from cryptocurrency. I came um, full time into the space in 2018. And even then it was kind of insane, um, particularly from where I came from. But uh, but you know what I really like is um, is technology, and I like building companies. And uh, and there's no better place I think than this industry. It's like it's where so much innovation is happening, mm -hmm. and um, and it's so fast moving and challenging. So I like all that part. Oh yeah, sounds super fun. Someone said your voice is relaxing. By the way, you could probably do ASMR. You could start an ASMR company. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of agree. <laughs> Should we play that one again? Uh, or yes, I I slockery. Slockery one. Yeah, she 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 did well. She plays Jackbox a little bit more than the rest of us, so you know we can't give her too much of an applause here. But we'll do new players. Um, I'm gonna. I think you could see the code on. On screen and other people ages. can't so me and you will get in this friday the time and location details are encrypted into algorithms piggybacking on spam emails from a server promoting hair loss therapy believe it okay. we still need sports everybody bobby and i are in so the code is v y m c you guys want to join uh put your name and not the words your name why does Susan always post these flyers for Agency Girls Night? 
Does anyone right. ever go to them? Um, um, yeah, all right, so while we're joining, Avery, do you, mm-hmm. how, how many hours a day or a week are you streaming live? Um, I try to keep it because this is a job, so I try to treat it a little bit like a job where I aim for about six hours. Um, but, you know, some days you just don't want to go for six hours, and I think, and I think you should give yourself a little time off sometimes, so six hours five to six hours is what i usually aim for if i only make it to three then then i only make it to three and i'll end my stream uh and then i'll try to take two uh, two days off a week you know treat it as much as a job as i can um and that's it really that's not very good to <laughs> but, me do you are, are are you playing fortnite or valorant <laughs> when you're streaming all the time or i'm i'm mostly a valorant streamer at the moment um, but I was in the past a Fortnite okay. streamer. I've been all over the place. And Call of Duty, uh, PUBG, uh, Fortnite, Valorant, Apex Legends, um, Spyro from time to time, you, you know. Wow. Do, you, do you play Valorant? No, but uh, since I've been working with the Immortals, I've gotten, um, I've watched it and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Valorant. What I saw you play, you played with ages, Lux Bunny, I believe you played sure golf, golf with Thanks. your friends, right? Yes, I played very badly. Thanks for, oh, uh, you... <laughs> thanks for noticing. <laughs> oh, you weren't good at it? I'm bad yeah. at that game too. Oh my god. Not good. What did you play though. with? You played with Bearkey too. What did you guys play for um, her stream? For anyone with what lingering did we play for that from one? our intensive company that Fall Guys? Um, oh, it was Fall Guys, yes. exactly. That was fun. That Fall was Guys is so young. good. I'm a Fall Guys fan. Yes. It was really hard to pick a game uh, for, for us to play. Um, but when I came against... When I saw Jackbox, I was like, ooh, that'd be kind of fun, because then we can get everybody kind of in. Oh, why isn't it... Yeah, this is perfect. You think this coffee tastes weird? Oh, so what does man, your everyday life look like? Detonate, should you turn out to be a double agent or um, just a simple behavior? Well, oh my god, I I um, for paleo? I probably have less flexibility in terms of uh, if I if I'm pounding it Welcome away back. here three hours or six hours yeah. or nine we hours, but from the internet and we but can start um, another game but up. generally um, working yes, with our bit stamp teams to come up Who's with up um, ways to help right. customers and grow the business and, I'm going to and new strategies. Um, you know, we're always exploring all the possibilities with Web3 and, and you know, what does it mean for our company? What does it mean for our, for our customers? And how can, we, how can we make crypto more accessible? Yeah. Basically? I think you guys are doing a great job, especially with like the... Um, you guys have a really good customer support system. It's like a really quick, they, people answer right away. And I think that's really good for someone who's like a casual crypto uh, user like myself personally. I'm not, <laughs> I only have like two cryptocurrencies, I think, in my wallet. Um, sorry, one second. Not poop anywhere other than, oh. Yeah. I was wondering when the poop questions were started. <laughs> I didn't even know there was poop there. questions in this game. What the hell? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this could lead to all kinds of questions, Avery, but I'm just going to let him go. Just going to let it go. Let it go. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Bitstamp definitely um, does Sorry, customer support d- in a different way than what most crypto companies. Most crypto companies are kind of like, if you got a problem, they're like Facebook. They don't want to talk to you. Yeah. But Bitstamp, we have live support um, uh, 24-7. So you can get to a person, you can call them on the phone, you can have a conversation, whatever you need. Right. People can call out of time. Wow. Uh oh. Okay. Uh-oh, what happened? Time ran out. Oh, dang, I was you talking. Fifty percent might actually be. Mm. Do a little higher. I'm thinking. Most of you are saying higher, and the correct answer is. Let's see. Damn. Uh, that's so much more than I thought. 
That is higher than I thought. But I was close enough, I guess. Yeah, your no answer was closer than mine, so... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see our last winner. This one's all about a room with a view. What percentage of people have ridden in motorcycle sidecars? Oh, this is not seem like a lot of people. I feel like motorcycle sidecars are made for dogs. Everyone else, higher or lower? Hmm. Um, so, from what I understand, you're not a dog person, you have cats. <laughs> I, I do really like dogs, um, but yeah, I, I would probably call myself a bit more of a cat person. Um, just like, you know, just the maintenance of them, especially living in an apartment building, you know, having cats here rather than having to take them, take dogs out, is just so much better. But yeah, I do have two cats. I'm on the verge of crazy cat lady, but I don't think I've made it there just yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're just maybe pushing eccentric. A little bit. Once I get a third one, and then it's just me and three cats, that's definitely crazy cat again. lady territory right there. Oh, shoot. What percent of people have received Dr. Seuss's? Oh. There we go. Are you a cat person, dog person? Higher or lower? Uh, I like tons of animals. Everyone we have a dog. Uh, we have okay. a yellow lab. Uh, he's a blast, Henry. Oh, that's a great name. What the hell? Of those oh my god, I was so off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good Let's book, see, no denying it. I get, oh, jeez. Um, well, what are the cat's names? That's, um, that's important. I've got Atticus, okay, who's, uh, who's the older cat. He's he's a little, little brown British okay, short hair. I'm not sure if you know what a British short hair is. Um, but they kind of look like the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, cool. And then I've just got a black cat named uh, Dipper. <laughs> Dipper. <laughs> After the little Dipper. <laughs> those are good. Those are quality names. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else, higher or lower? What percentage of people have started campfires? All right. Oh, jeez. And Atticus is actually okay, laying in front of me and making right this answer. very hard to <laughs> do things. But only you can oh my god. Oh, I was okay there, actually. Who got it right? I'm in last. Nice this is bad. I've got some points for you. All right, it's anybody's Who's ball game next? still. No, for real, we're getting um, close. So, as a streamer, Let's get into mm -hmm. it, shall we? And, and by the way, I'm just fascinated with with that as a um, as a focus or a career, I think it's so cool. Used a significant other's toothbrush. Oh boy. <laughs> um. So what's a good day versus a bad day? Like you know, for me at work, if I run into a lot of obstacles, hard decisions, um, you know, or too many meetings, then yeah. you know I come away thinking this wasn't the best day. Yeah. Um, What's it look like for a streamer? Good question. Um, I would say there's a lot of things that kind of vary. Like, the game can make it a bad day if you're not playing great. Um, or just like, even even the chat sometimes, you'll get some trolls in the chat that kind of ruin your mood. I'm pretty good with dealing with them. I don't really care what they say. Um, a good day, you know, you're having you're having a good day. You're playing good good games of Valorant, for example. You're winning every game. Um, you have a chat that talks a lot and, uh, kind of supports you. Time for the final you know, round. I think I have a lot more a good minute, days than bad days, which I'm happy about. To this which is, That's great. Yeah, it's what really fun. Substitute do people prefer? But Let's see sometimes I think I'm lucky too, where I could play just about any game and my chat will watch. Um, I'm not like, you know, stuck on one game. Um, so if Ready, Valorant does go. piss me off. I'm pretty lucky that I could just like switch the game, <laughs> which it does that pretty often. Uh, uh, cocaine. Cocaine. How did that get in there? What in the world? Um. Okay. Let's see here. Remember, you can pick three answers. Okay. Okay. Let's see what you pick. I know someone picked cocaine. Oh wow, no one actually did. You guys weren't okay, trolling this time. Show us the most popular answers. 1% on Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh 
Oh jeez. Really? Sweet and low? I thought that would have been a I thought that would have been a big one. What is this? 1985? <laughs> I wasn't born oh. in 1985, Bobby. I don't know what that means. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Avery, I'm not, I don't want to say anything, but you and I are bringing up the rear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're... Did we come in last? Well, Is thankfully I beat you. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> no, you're the only one. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> John, congrats on the win. Great job. John. John, you killed it. Slockery, you killed it too. Guys, great job. I think we're going to go through some uh, some bitstamp stuff now. Um, we're going to head to... Hold on, let me make my screen on me. We're going to head to the, the Learn Center of bitstamp. Um, and I'll share my screen with you so that we can go through it together. Um, um. Let me see. Uh, share your screen. And then I'll share display screen. And then we got yeah. here's beautiful bitstamp, guys. I'm sure from my streams, you've probably clicked on the link before and seen it, hopefully. Hopefully you guys do that. But if not, then we have the CEO here to... uh Yeah, <laughs> I'm watching you. Um, hey, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So how, how are you... Um, how involved in crypto are you? Are you have you have i would you experimented i would say i'm a, I'm a very 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 casual noob crypto investor i've got bitstamp i've got ethereum and that's that's it that's all i've got um seemed like everybody was buying it at one point so i also bought it um and i don't check how much it's made or how much i've lost i kind of let it marinate and do its thing and then when i see twitter going crazy talking about Bitcoin or anything, that's when I'll check my statistics and see what's going on. But other than that, you know, I'm kind of just letting it sit there and do its thing. Um, I'm very casual. I like it. Very casual. I, I think that's, um, I think that's really smart. You know, it's kind of a, that's how it's, it's similar to what I do actually. I, <laughs> it's, I think of it as a long-term yeah. investment. And, um, one of the cool things about crypto is you don't have to invest a lot. You can invest five dollars if you want, or yeah. fifty or a hundred. You don't have to. You have to buy a whole Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, all crypto is completely fractional, so you can you can buy a, basically any amount that, mm -hmm. that you'd like. And so, so it's an easy way to um, you know to participate, get involved, learn about it. Uh, but what we found at Bitstamp is um, we did a bunch of surveys and we've talked to a lot of people and the. Uh, one of the biggest barriers people have to to participating is they just don't know where to start. Right. Um, and so that's why we created this Learn Center is just to try to make it as easy as possible for people to learn more mm -hmm. and and then make an informed decision about whether or not they want to they want to participate or how much or in what. Uh, and in the in the crypto space, as you probably know, I mean, there's no shortage of information. There's a ton of information, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is noise. You know, a lot of it is people shilling a token or, or uh, you know, trying to get attention. Um, so with the Learn Center, we try to do the opposite. It's just uh, it's just bite sized pieces of information, purely objective, with only one goal, which is just um, you know education and, mm -hmm. and um, in information download. So um, so let's play around with this. Let's okay across the top. You can see some um, topics: crypto one hundred and one blockchain technology, crypto trading, Bitstamp tutorial. Mm -hmm. So let's, let, uh, why don't you click on crypto 101. Okay. And, um, you know, it gives you a little, okay. um, little overview, but if you scroll down, there's some articles. So these are some different oh. articles that um, go into one chunk or one piece of the puzzle as it relates to crypto. And um, you can click on any one of those. Okay, uh, let's you'll, see. you'll find is a, sh a short article, um, you know, kind of succinct to the point uh, that just gives you the bottom line on any any. Okay, any let's topic. do exploring Bitcoin's forks. Yeah. So, so yeah, one of the interesting things about cryptocurrency is you have this kind of self-managed, trustless protocol, but but there are things such as forks where 
the community supporting him, um, you know, disagree about the way the protocol should evolve. And, and so they, they, it becomes two protocols. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, uh, that, that's something that gets talked about a lot, but, but sometimes it's hard for people to, um, get the straight dope on, uh, on what it is. So that's just one example. Okay. Um, another interesting one is, is if you go to people profiles, uh, um, is that, Oh, down here, it's across the top. It's across the top. Oh, um, people yeah. profiles. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of personalities I involved in, in crypto and there, you know, there's a lot of tw Twitter, as you know, I mean, just, um, kind of uh, amazing personalities mm -hmm. doing their thing on crypto or on Twitter as it relates to crypto. Um, but a lot of times it's like, well, who is this person? Should I care about this person? Should I should I listen to this person? Um, this this section, which we think is quite unique, uh, goes through. And you can scroll down. It's like oh. some of the key players and key personalities um, that are very visible in the crypto world and influential. So, um, you know, at a glance almost, or you can just click on yeah. one of these and, and, um, get, get that person's background and why, why they are, you know, are who they are as it relates to crypto. That's cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Elon Musk. Of course. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, I'm sure we're slightly familiar, you know, just a yeah, little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but he's super, he's super vocal when it comes to crypto and, and the possibilities. Um, and then, you know, uh, there's some other good personalities in there. Yeah. Um, he's the only uh, one I've that, ever heard here. Well, have you ever heard of Sam Bankman fried right there? Um, Down at the bottom or right here. Yeah. Um, yeah. so he, he's been in the news a lot lately. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I have heard of him. This, this is recent. Yeah, very recent. He was the founder of a crypto exchange called FTX that um, unfortunately um, unfortunately, was a fraudulent enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he basically stole a bunch of people's money. Uh, and and um, it's a terrible tragedy for those people. They've lost, uh, you know, whatever their investments mm -hmm. were. And... Um, and, you know, it's also really bad for the industry kind of, uh, you know, we're all working hard to build trust in what, what we're doing because we think it's good for the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you get a guy like this and, and, and he pulls the wool over one's eyes. He's a fast talker and, and all of a sudden find out later that he's stolen a bunch of money. Yeah. And then he makes it Not look cool. bad for everyone else. So exactly. That's shitty. And he was actually, uh, FTX was quite big in the gaming world where uh i believe yeah. tsm was uh partnered with ftx so i remember hearing a lot about this yeah they um they sponsored a lot of things and including um you know naming stadiums and and uh super bowl ads and stuff you know i've i've always i've always said uh you know if there's a tech company and it's you know it's first or second year and it's it's doing a Super Bowl ad, you know, run away mm -hmm. because yeah. they're trying. They're either they either don't know how tech companies work because you have to invest in the product, right? Um, or they're trying to they're trying to distract you from something. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, that yeah, it's so a bad true. story. Yeah, that really sucks. Boo. We don't. Um, so anyway, that's the Learn Center. <laughs> there's there's a bunch of great stuff there. Um, you know, you can. Well, maybe I'll show you one other thing. If sure. you look at the cryptocurrency guide. Um, cryptocurrency guide yeah so this you know there's an there's an awful lot of cryptocurrencies in the world yes um and you know ave avalanche polka dot you know they all these interesting names yeah but what a lot of people don't realize is that each one of them was created with some use case in mind some idea um, it's not just for speculation like will it go up in value or go down in value they're actually mm -hmm. trying to trying to accomplish something. And so if you scroll down, you can see, um, you know, for, for oh. all of the tokens that we list, you can get, oh, this a, is so um, cool. you can get a, a, a download like Axie infinity. That's a gaming mm -hmm. token. You know, if you click on that, it'll, it'll give you, um, a good description of the, of the idea, how it's used, how the ecosystem for Axie, you know, came to be, right. um, you know, 
uh, all of those, all of those five sets. So then you can decide if this is something you want to own or something you want to use to participate in this case in a, in a, oh, this is so a, cool. Look how cute. Gaming. Oh my gosh. See, this yeah. is what would get me right here. If <laughs> oh, all right, right here, best. exactly. That would get me right after stream. I'm going to do that. Um, yeah. I've, I've heard in the past and I'm not sure if this is true. So, um, but you know, I've heard some environmental type things about crypto and, you know, it's kind of rubbed me the wrong way and I wasn't sure if it was true or false. And, you know, I obviously don't want to support any type of environmental destruction or shit, you know, when people say that stuff. Um, so I was, yeah. I want to learn a little bit more and, and know if that's true or not, because it's kind of in the past, I've kind of sat there and I'm like, oh, did I just support like environmental destruction by purchasing Bitcoin? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, let, let's talk about that for a minute. The, the, these cryptocurrency blockchain protocols, um, are, all have to be secured and the transactions have to be verified by some means. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they're not, there's not like companies behind them paying people to do it. People in the community do it right. for rewards that the protocol gives them. And, there's two ways to do that. One is called proof of work and one is called proof of stake. And the proof of work protocol, protocol um, which Bitcoin uses, requires computers to compute mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff in order to secure the network and verify transactions. And that's, um, that's energy consumption mm -hmm. um, for sure. And the more, the more popular it gets, the more people do it. This is called mining. I'm sure you've heard of right. it. Right, yes. Um, and and more more energy is consumed so that's that's real and that's what an issue and the industry um you know, definitely NFT is focused on it and needs to be loud. for all the right reasons mm -hmm. um the the way that that we think about it is it's it's not just a question of energy consumption it's a question of what kind of energy is consumed mm -hmm. and how much of it is renewable um so so the focus for a lot of Bitcoin miners and a lot of Bitcoin investors is to um, move towards renewable, hopefully 100% renewable energy sources, um, because energy consum consumption in itself is necessary in any, in any industry, um, but to be, um, you know, kind of mindful about our planet mm -hmm. and, and for all the right reasons, we should all be focusing on renewables. Right. Um, what's interesting to me about this question is people like, nobody seems to ask this question, you know, about gold, you right. know, a lot of people yep. wear gold jewelry. Yeah. Um, but do you know how much energy is consumed in mining right. gold and how much, how much devastation there is to the planet and mining gold. Right. Um, so, so sometimes the media portrays this, I think in a, in a way that's unfair. Mm -hmm. Um, because every industry uses um, a lot of energy. Right. Let's make the conversation about renewable energy. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing I'll say about this is there's this other protocol kind of called proof of stake and the Ethereum, you mentioned Ethereum, the Ethereum blockchain just yeah. recently tran transitioned to proof of stake. Proof of stake is 99 point something percent more energy efficient than proof oh, of wow. work. Okay. So you know, and most of the, or, or many of the cryptocurrencies out there run on either run on an, a, an Ethereum protocol specifically or Ethereum like protocol. Mm -hmm. So, um, so proof of stake is, is quite prevalent. And, you know, if you're, if you're buying, um, a typical, um, you know, or many of the, uh, cryptos available, you're, you're really not consuming any energy. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That was very informative. Thank but, you. But Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you are so Bitcoin. Bitcoin's, of course, a big one. So of course. We, we still have work to do there to make sure we're we're being efficient mm -hmm. from a renewable. Standpoint. And especially with it being like I would I would say, from my knowledge, Bitcoin is definitely the most popular cryptocurrency. Um, yeah. So I definitely think that that one needs to change a little bit. But it's definitely giving Absolutely. me a peace of mind knowing that uh, I'm not damaging the environment as much as I thought I was. <laughs> Yeah, at yeah, all. If really, you're just, if you're just in ether. You're in good. You're in good shape. Thank God. Whew, I can sleep tonight now. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that. Um, is there anything else you want to go over on the on the no, learning center? No, no. I just uh, 
I just would encourage, um, you know, your community to the extent that, that you're curious about it or interested, you know, check out the Learn Center, bitstamp.net, and, um, and uh, you get, get a ton of, of great information. And, um, and then, yeah, if you decide you want to get involved, um, you know, take what, what, I, what I tell my friends is, you know, don't, don't take your life savings, take, take a, a small amount mm -hmm. and um, do some research. And uh, and make some investments. And and the cool thing about cryptocurrencies is because there's a lot of really cool innovations underlying these cryptocurrencies. Some of them might become quite quite valuable over mm -hmm. time. So absolutely, it makes it even more fun. Yeah, and especially guys, we're casual. We're casual around here. You know, five dollars, ten dollars, anything. Yeah. Especially when it's low right now. I'm thinking. The best yeah, time. the market is low right now, so uh, a lot of people think it's a good time to invest. However, I'm not an investment advisor. I cannot, I cannot provide any <laughs> investment advice. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. That. I'm not either, guys. <laughs> but you know, from my knowledge, I would say buy it right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining me on today's stream and taking time out of your day to inform us and educate us on crypto. And play some Jackbox with us. That was fun. Yeah, thank you, Avery. Of thanks course. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, thanks, everybody. Uh, super fun. And uh, yeah, let's do it again sometime. Yeah, I had a blast. Thanks so much. Say bye, guys. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye, Bobby. Thanks, guys, so much uh, for sticking around and enjoying our time with Bobby. Um, I, feel, I feel honored. No, but he was so cool. He was so down to earth.